The brave officers of Metro City Police Department patrol the streets of the city day and night in a never-ending battle to apprehend criminals and to keep citizens safe. To combat specific crime, a task force allows police to target perpetrators with precision. In Metro City, one task force stands out. They are the Milk Crate Recovery Unit. The elite team of MCRU officers is led by department veteran, Sergeant Mike Oxor. The MCRU was created last year. Our new mayor is a local dairy producer, and he brought it to the attention of the chief, the true cost of milk crate theft. City council passed a law shortly thereafter, making milk crate theft and possession of milk crates a felony crime. The task force was created specifically to target those criminals and to recover stolen property. You know, I've been with the MCRU right from the start. I'm, it's a small unit, but it's not the size of your unit. This is important as we can do with it, huh? You know, we do a lot of good out there. Now, I hear some people, they'll say, it's just milk crates. What's the big deal? And I say, yeah, for now. Well, let me tell you something. Milk crate theft is a gateway crime. It starts off as a milk crate here, milk crate there. The next thing you know, it's a shopping cart. It's a forklift. Where does it end? Hmm? Today's operation, codenamed Lactose Intolerance, is a standard sting operation. We place milk crates in a predeterminated area and then we wait. It's usually not long before we catch a rat in a trap that hopefully leads us to a bigger fish. Crate theft is a doggy dog world, or in this case, rat eat fish world. <laughs> 20 million crates a year is no joke. Criminal recycling gangs are responsible for over 90% of those thefts. And store owners, they're on the hook for those losses. 25 years on the job, one thing I know for sure. You gotta be patient. It's hard, it's really hard. Sometimes we come up empty handed. But eventually, we end up getting that happy ending we're looking for. Yeah, I'm new to this unit, but I do a lot of favors to get here. The MCRU is the best unit in this department. They see the most action, they have the highest arrest numbers. I'm just looking forward to busting some scumbags. I love catching them with their pants down. Sergeant Mike Coxer watches from a distance while the other officers of the MCRU wait close by. Steady up, gentlemen. I think we got a live one here. We're in position. It doesn't take long before the crate bait grabs the attention of an unsuspecting passerby. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Can you read? What? Can you read English, dumbass? Yeah, man, of course I can read. What does that say? Read it! Use by other than registered owner, prohibited by law. Are you the registered owner of this milk crate? No, man. I knew it. And that's why you're going to jail. Get this filth out of my face. Come on, come on. Hey, that hurt, man. Yeah, get out of your mom. Time to find a new place for your album, punk. Chances are this guy's a repeat offender. 
could be a gang member. So we'll apply for a warrant to search his residence where we will likely find his stash, which will mean more charges. With the warrant secured, the officers of MCRU gather around to receive a briefing before the raid. All right, listen up. Perps places a basement suite one way in, one way out. We don't know who or what's in there, so be prepared for anything. You go through a door and you find out. Everybody knows their job. Relying on team members is something we do every day. Relying on team members gives you the confidence to do your job so that your team members can rely on you. Anybody we find in there gets cuffed up. We all know that crate theft is directly linked to organized crime. This guy could lead us up that chain. Gear up, we roll out in five. Let's go. See, the thing with a backdoor entry is you gotta get in there quick. Maintain that element of surprise. The last thing you wanna do is pull out. Just makes it all the more harder to get back in there. Kicking in doors is all part of the job for the MCRU. They put their lives on the line every day, fighting the endless battle against the city's criminals. The team prepares for the worst. This is my first raid with the team. I am stoked. Adrenaline is pumping. I'm ready to take down some bad guys. We go two in the front, three in the rear. Hard and fast. That's how we like to do it. What you hope for is that none of the unit gets hurt. You gotta have each other's backs. You take every precaution to make sure that nothing gets past you. The team arrives at the home of the perpetrator and prepares to make a dynamic backdoor entry. Police, search warrant! MCRU! Hands! Let me see your hands! MCRU! Hands! Okay, okay, I see Come on. Rest of the house is clear. Search. In here. Get her out of here. What do we got? Every crate carries a one-year prison term. Turns out the girlfriend's name is also on the lease, so we'll have both of them charged with multiple possession counts. All in all, a good bust. Two prolific offenders behind bars, and we recovered nine crates. Street value, 50 to 100 bucks. All in a day's work for the brave officers of the Metro Police Department's Milk Crate Recovery Unit. Milk crate theft exceeds $80 million per year in the U.S. Crate theft increases emissions due to manufacturing and petroleum production and dries up the price of milk for the consumer. Crate theft is a crime. Don't do crime.